guys welcome back to my channel today I am actually doing a requested video that I thought was really fun I just got it today and I decided to record it straight away it is recreating my very first makeup look here on YouTube and the very first one that I actually posted I deleted because it was so shitty <laughs> like this one's shitty too don't get me wrong but the very very first one is gone so I had to pick the the very first one that's still up on my channel and that one is from 2011. I started the channel in 2010 so it was only like six months later. So that video was not my strongest work. <laughs> For one, I wasn't a makeup artist back then, and I probably made some mistakes that would make me go, ah, right now. But also, I did not have any fancy schmancy video equipment the way that I do now. So back then, I just used my phone to record. I was in my bathroom. The lighting was so bad. I'm so freaking yellow. Like, I'll insert a still here somewhere. Just don't go watch the video because it's so bad, but I'll just try to added somewhere here so you can actually see what it looks like, but it was so yellow. I look like a Simpsons character, so you know, haha. <laughs> but other than that, the look I did is still a fun look. So today I'm gonna recreate that look. I'm not gonna do it exactly the way that I did it back then, but I'm gonna do it the way that I would do it now. That's like the whole point of this video. So I referred to that look as a gothic purple look, I believe. Since my hair is green now, purple is a nice complimentary color to that. So I thought purple would be a good look for today. So uh, yeah, with that said, let's get started. I usually don't talk in my makeup videos anymore, but I'm gonna do that in this one because I wanted to make it a more chatty video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put my day cream on. Cause I just showered and my skin is so dry that I need to instantly moisturize. Then I am going to prime my face using this face primer by Essence. And since I have got a bit of a tan, now my usual foundation is a little bit too pale. I thought that today I would try to actually match my skin color with the foundation that I have. And that is actually a uh, airbrush foundation. It's by Airbase. It's their number three. I usually go for their number one, I think. The number two is a very, very yellow one. So I think this should be right. I'm not gonna airbrush it on though because I don't have to. This is a silicone formula, which means that you can use your hands. So just consider it any old foundation. And then I'm gonna use my regular concealer. Oh, I got some on my plug. I'm gonna be using the one blush stick from Revolution. It's called blush, but this is actually a bronzer. It's not a shimmery one, it's just like a brown stick, which is perfect for doing some shading. I don't use it on my nose though. I don't need that for the nose contour. I just kind of do that for the cheekbones and the temples. And then to do some highlights under the eye and around the nose area, I'm gonna be using this studio foundation from Face, which is my go-to concealer because it's very, very high coverage. This is very light though, so it's gonna be very dramatic. <laughs> We're stepping away from the natural now. So just going down the side of the nose and underneath the eyes. I also like putting a little bit of this right underneath where I just did the contouring for the cheeks because it just kind of makes that pop. And for the nose highlight, I use an even lighter concealer. This package is so broke because I've like dropped it a thousand times and tried to put it back together. It's called the Camouflage System. It's by Dermacolor and it's very, very light. But this I actually only use for the nose contour usually. Just kind of blend it into that other concealer. 
And I now need to set that with a powder, so I'm gonna be using this translucent one, also from Dermacolor, and just a big old powder puff. That's my preferred way of doing it. So before I powder, I'm just gonna go over the under eye areas again, as well as the lids, because these are the areas that tend to crease. I feel that the concealer sit for too long before you powder, so that's always the last thing I do before I powder. And then the first areas I powder are around the eyes. Because foundation creasing is not nice. I like dramatic things, so I'm also going to enhance all the sculpting that I did with dry products. For the shading, I'm using this cold brown eyeshadow by Makeup Store and an angled face brush. For the nose contour, I use the same product, just a different brush, small precision brush, which is perfect for the nose. I just remember that I forgot a step. I like using a white jumbo liner to enhance that nose contour, because once you powder the product, sometimes it blend into each other. So you lose a little bit of that flare. So yeah, just put a little bit of that back in there. And then I just go from the bottom up to do that contour. I'm also gonna put a little bit of blusher on. That's a very peachy pink one by Emite. It's quite potent, so I don't want to put too much on it on there. Just a little bit of color on my cheeks. And then it's highlighting time. I'm using this baked highlighter in the color Pink Lights by Revolution Makeup. This is my all-time favorite highlighter because it can be discreet, but you can also pack it on super heavily if that's the kind of highlighter that you like. So I put it like in a C-shape around the eyes, a little bit on the cupid's bow, and then I switch to a smaller brush, if I can find one, and do that down the center of the nose. So that is the base done. I'm gonna zoom in and we're gonna continue with the rest of the makeup. Okay, so in the original video, I did white on the lids and then purple like over and around it that's too light in color for what i like today so i'm gonna go with all purple colors just going from light purple to dark purple as an eyeshadow primer i'm using that same jumbo liner in white from la colors putting a little bit in the inner corner here i always do that for an extra highlight obviously on the waterline but also a little bit underneath and on the lids. Just kind of covering the area around my eyes in white. <laughs> and it looks so crazy like this, but yeah, it's a great base. White is always a great base for color because it makes the color pop. You can really pack it on on top. For the inner corner highlight, I'm just using that same Pink Lights highlighter from Revolution, just kind of dabbing that on. And then I'm going to do something that I didn't do in the old video because I hadn't learned that trick yet, which is protect the underneath eye area from fallout by just packing it with powder. Because you do not want a bunch of eyeshadow falling down underneath your eye and ruining your base. You look like an insane person with this on, but I'm telling you it's the best way to protect from fallout. Okay, so I'm gonna use a couple different shades of purple. The first one is by Clean Color. It's called American Icon Wet and Dry Baked Eyeshadow. And the color I'm assuming is called purple. I can't really tell. The packaging is kind of damaged. So yeah, it's nice and light, sort of like a lilac. I'm using a small detail brush for that. I'm placing that all over the main part of the lid. I'm also gonna put that next to the inner corner highlight that we did. And don't worry about blending at this point. Just kind of pack it on. Alrighty, we're gonna move on to a darker purple now. I'm gonna use this one, which is from a Coastal Scents palette that I put together myself. I can't find my good crease brush, so I'm gonna use one that's a little bit bigger than what I actually want. This is one that I actually like using for blending, but it is a crease brush. So I'm going into that deeper purple and then going right over where I just placed that first 
purple. I'm also gonna extend it outwards. Because I like a nice angled sort of cat eye. And I'm gonna extend that down below to connect that to that other eyeshadow on the bottom as well. I love how you look insane in like mid transformation <laughs> during a makeup tutorial. Like right now, this is a fun look, huh? <laughs> I'm just gonna use that black from the Coastal Scents palette. Now for this, I need a smaller crease brush and since I can't find my good one, I'm gonna use this like really shitty tiny one, hoping that'll get the job done. And with this, I'm just kind of enhancing the crease, deepening that a little bit more. And it also separates the light eyeshadow from the darker one, so you can actually tell that it's two different eyeshadows. See, now it actually looks like I have a crease. Haha, -ha, sneaky sneaky. And then I'm taking that underneath as well. And the wounds. Again, just to kind of extend and enhance that. You can see the difference, right? Way more dramatic on that side. I always forget to tell you guys where my brushes are from. I know a lot of other YouTubers do that during makeup tutorials. All of these with white handles are by e.l.f. The black handle ones that I have are usually by Makeup Revolution or they're like the cheap ones that I've got off of Wish or whatever. I don't spend money on fancy pants brushes because it doesn't make a difference to me. We have done all the application, now it's time to blend away those really wonky edges. Remember to use one blending brush for each eye. Don't just do one eye and then use the same brush for the other because you're gonna end up with a lot more product on the second eye. That's why you always need at least two blending brushes. And I'm blending upwards now, away from the eyeshadow to soften that line, not downwards. So I'm gonna do the eyeliner next, and I use my favorite one, as always. It's by Isadora. It's called the Glossy Eyeliner in 40 Chrome Black. It's waterproof, and it's awesome. So I always start in the middle, and work my way out. If you start in the inner corner with a fresh blob of eyeliner, you're gonna get very heavy product in the inner corner and that's where you want it to be thin. So start in the middle, work your way out, and then you can work your way into the inner corner. And then I'm gonna extend that into a wing. All right, I'm gonna proceed with mascara using my Gapping Lashes Waterproof Mascara by Essence. Best mascara ever. Curly curl. It's time to get rid of the protective powder, so I'm getting out my big ass fan brush and just brushing that away. And he just takes all the fallout with it. All right, so eyebrows. In the original video, I did very, very thin, very, very arched brows. I haven't done those in years, so I'm just gonna do a version of a brow that I like. So I still made pretty thin brows, but I just, yeah, like straight ones instead of the whole... All right, all that remains are lips. In the original video, I did like very, very light pinkish purpley lips. I think a dark lip would look fantastic with this, but I'm gonna stay true to the original and do a light lip instead, just using a different product than I did back then. I'm actually just gonna put a little bit of a glitter 
lip gloss on it. This is called the Diamond Lip Gloss. It is by AOA. Uh, this color is called Gypsy, so it's very nice and purplish. All right, here it is. Still a nice gothic purpley look, but a little bit nicer <laughs> than the one I made seven years ago. So yeah, thank you so much for requesting this video. It's been a lot of fun. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!